Hi, and welcome to Polkadot Palace. We're a family of four DIYers that are sharing our lives on YouTube. So if you have not seen my face before, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and give this video a big th thumbs up. One of the things that I've started in the last year is mandala painting, specifically these giant mandalas, also known as dot painting. But one of the most common questions I get is how do I get started? How do I try it? There's a few different ways. Easiest answer is you don't really need a whole lot to start. Piece of paper, some paint, anything you got lying around the house. Um, end of a pencil, eraser, works great. Tip of a ballpoint pen um, will work just as well. However, if you want to get into dot painting, I'd highly suggest you pick up a set of dotting tools. Now, if you bought one of my kits at the craft shows, they come like this and you get a basic set of five dotting tools with that. They are all different sizes. I can't get this one open. They're all different sizes. They go from smallest to largest, all different size dots. Once I'm done explaining, I am gonna put a little video on how you create some of those dots and how you do this. Um, so there'll be more details coming up. However, basic set of dotting tools, something to paint. Uh, I would suggest if you wanna do mandalas, Getting some of whoop. I gotta leave that in. <laughs> Getting some of these boards. Um, these ones you can buy them in little packages at the Dollarama if you're in Canada. I know they sell them at the Dollar Tree. Um, they are available on Amazon. I will make a link to those in the video or in the description. Um, and if you'd like to know how I make giant boards, I'll leave a link to that video right here. Once you've got a board. You need to put a base coat on it. I mean, I guess you don't have to. You could just do it on wood. However, I personally prefer using black paint as my base coat. Um, I have used other colors. Uh, I did do some white eggs for the craft show I have coming up next week. Um, I will admit I only did about half a dozen of them in white. I just don't think that the colors pop as much. So I personally prefer black paint. Um, you can use just regular acrylic black paint. I personally prefer chalkboard paint. Uh, I buy these little quart cans and handy trick, if you're using the same paint over and over and over again, store your brush in a Ziploc bag and it stays fresh and you can just use it and you don't have to clean it because who wants to clean brushes? So we're going to paint our board black or white or purple or whatever color you want to paint it. Once you have this, I personally do three coats of black paint to start. You're just starting out, do whatever you want, make sure that it's solid. Once it's dry, I highly suggest getting a stencil. Um, these smaller boards, this is the easiest way to mark them up. And to do that, I use chalk pencils. Um, this package uh, has blue ones and white ones, so if you did want to use them on a white background, you can use them. Again, link will be in the description. And what you end up with is something that looks like this. Now, there are all sorts of different ways to create these stencils and map out your mandalas, but for beginners, this is the easiest. Um, you can actually draw things and then use dots to fill them in. I'll insert a couple pictures of what I'm talking about. Other than that, paint, dotting tools, you're good to go. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna make a dot. That's it. Oh, I need a mat. Make sure you clean off your tools in between because um, they do get kind of crusty as you can see. Uh, and then you can do a lot of things. Like I said, just to prove that you don't really need all the tools, let's do our next center dots. This is literally just that pencil I was showing you. See? Crazy dotting tools, no cost. The pen works really well too. 
In this case, we're gonna start doing flower petals. So we're gonna start in the center. And then you'll notice each dot gets a tiny bit smaller. And then to do the other side of that one, we're gonna double tap that top dot and go down the side. Easy peasy. Now, when it comes to the dotting tools, you'll see that on each one, it's got one end is gonna be bigger than the other. So in the set that I use most of the time, my yellow one's the smallest one. So my tiniest end is gonna be this one, and then they're gonna go up in size. So with my set, I kind of have a random set going right now. They go this yellow one, and then the turquoise one, and then I have a white one, a blue one, and then my biggest one is green. So as I'm creating dots, I usually start with the smaller and I go bigger as I go around the duck. This case, we'll use the biggest one and top dot. And there you go. There's the basics. You just keep filling it in. Practice makes perfect. The longer you go, the better it'll be. And once you've completed your mandala and it's dried, um, I would suggest letting it dry overnight. It's really hard to let it dry because this is my favorite spot part. We get to wipe it off because those chalk lines really just wipe off. So this is just a rag. My favorite part. And that's it, you've created your first mandala. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it with your friends. Make sure you like and please hit that subscribe button. We're brand new to YouTube and we're trying to grow this channel.